So you want to use degrees, minutes and seconds in Excel, but there isn't a number format for this. What do you do? You can use this hack instead. First thing we need is the degree symbol, which you can get by typing in unichar, open brackets, 176. And we want to cut and paste that into a different cell so that we can use it in our number format. Go to the formula bar and highlight and copy the degree symbol. Now go to the number format pull down menu, select more number formats, then custom, and in the text box, type in open square brackets, HH, close square brackets, paste in your degree symbol, leave a space, MM, single quotation mark, leave a space, SS.00, backwards slash, double quotation marks. Press save, and that's the format you need to use. To use this number format, go to the formula bar, type in 135, colon, 15 colon 35 press enter and your angle is displayed in degrees minutes and second format another example enter in 45 colon 12 colon 50 press equals and your angle is displayed with these two angles you can add them together or you can take one away from another and your angle is displayed in degrees, minutes and second format. You can also multiply an angle by a value or you can divide an angle by a value. If you're trying to add say 180 degrees to an existing angle, by adding 180 it's not going to work by using that formula. What you need to do is to, in another cell, write down the angle 180 degrees in degrees minutes and second format and then add the two cell references together to get you the correct overall answer. Now we're going to try and take the sine of an angle. Using the sine function of your cell reference you don't get the correct answer. But even if you try as you know in Excel the angle has to be expressed in radian measure by using the radians formula still doesn't give you the correct overall answer you have to do this instead the little hack you have to do for sine cos and tan is to take the sine of your cell reference and then divide it by 7.5 and multiply it by pi as shown and that will give you in this case the correct answer of 1. Another example for 45 degrees using our formula which is going to be sine of your cell reference divided by 7.5 and then multiplied by pi gives you the correct sine of 0 0.707. To try to explain our formula, we know that in a full rotation, you have 360 degrees or two pi radians. However, in Excel, we're not using degrees, but we're actually using a time function in which a full rotation is actually 24 hours. To convert our angle into radians, we take our angle divided by 360 and multiply it by 2 pi. That gives us our angle in radian measure from being an angle in degrees. However, because we're using time bases to describe our angle, we have to take that into account by taking the angle we use in our cell, using our format, multiply it by 24 and divide it by 360 then times it by 2 pi, that will give us our angle and reading measure that Excel can use. Here I'm showing it being cancelled down, so that your final result is going to be your angle divided by 7.5 multiplied by pi, and that's the formula that I've used so that Excel can use your sine, cos and tan functions correctly. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps us out.